honed in on the general area of Matt's pod. When you're ready to get him, come see me. Flying Leaper. Hello and welcome back to Saints Row 4. You're really making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. Same thing. Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power. Don't ruin this key. <laughs> Don't ruin it for me, Keith. This thing takes some getting used to, huh? Are you breaking my power armor? If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. We have no guns. Alright. Gun arms aren't there for show. What can they do? Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... I found your power armor, because they're just missing stuff. Kitty. Can you get this thing through the door? Ugh. Oh my god, this is a real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and, oh look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess with a brush. I'm guessing that's enough. Yeah, that's fine, we'll go up through this one. I found a bigger door, now what? Well. Brute force works. Come on, you alien bastards! You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Howdy. Goodbye. President needs one of these. I'm coming, Matt. Hang on, buddy. This way. Are those parts full of people? Maybe, but I don't think they've been abduct humans exclusively. It's not exactly helpful. I think I'm coming up on Matt. Damn, so close. I've got a broken pod here, Kitty. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? I was hoping you would know that. Well, since this hacking thing seemed to be everywhere... Get away from me! I mean it! Easy then, Matt. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. I knew it was a robot. Kinsey's been on my case about it being power armor. So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that mech have? Kinsey said the guns are missing stuff. Huh, typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. Come 
out of here so I can kill you, please. No, you have to come to me. This time you should run. Gemma? You can do it. There you are. Good job. I have the parts. Get to me and I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. I think I know how to use a gun, Max. It's more than just a gun. Right on. Longer I can hold out, Kinsey. We're gonna die here. I know it. Tell me, Kinsey, where are you? I did what I could. I can't really fix it right now. Of course you can't. That'd be too easy. I'm here. Get to me. All right, to here. Let's move. Go, go, go. yourself.
have your man crush on Keith David. That is Mr. Keith David to you! <laughs> That's not good. That's a big, that is a big ship. Could you go away, please. Die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did that thing go? I'm not sure. Look at us killing everything in sight. Is this what being a sociopath feels like? Hey, remember that big ship you were asking about? Yeah, I see it. They're gonna get us to a safe spot. Hang on. Faster would be better, Kinsey. Okay, I think we lost it. I'm in front of a passageway. I'll need a minute to open the door. Ah, uh, Kinsey, we didn't lose it. Shit. What's he doing, Kinsey? Okay, get ready. Shoot the panel on the left. I, I, I mean, the right, the right. Kinsey! Sorry, I'm facing the other way. Well, that was a bit close. I sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? We need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those we're in deep space? It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? Me, Shondi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shondi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Kinds of new stuff for us coming. All right, what do you got for me now? Is it? Yeah, oop. Is it? Every store you hack feeds me security data. Whoa. I can use that data to insert a virus, which will open up a doorway back to the ship. So go hack while I work on the virus. Kinsey, I'm scared. Good news. I was able to open the door in the southwest of the city. Turns out this method is really useful. Think you can keep going with it? If it works, sure thing. Kinsey, you're vibrating. It makes me scared. There's another door open in the northwest. It's amazing how easy it is to tap into their programming this way. So keep going with it. Will do. That makes one door open in downtown. I think I can spot in there, so keep hacking away. Right. Yep, this is a piece of cake. I'm doing most of the work. <laughs> I like how short That's that it. one is. You did great. With all those access points back to the real world, I'm a lot less worried you'll get trapped there now. Well, at least I can shop just about anywhere now. True. Now we need to go see Matt, and Matt is usually... There he is. If it's not too much trouble, I need to better familiarize myself with how the simulation works. 
I figure if I watch the changes to the code take place when you do a few different tasks for me, I should get a stronger grasp on the workings of Zin programming. Fine, but I better get something out of this. Here, I've created a simple locating program for your troubles. Now I want to change up the tasks you were performing. Same general idea, and a better reward for you this time. Thanks for the program. So now all the collectibles are suitable on my map. I know you'll love what I created for you. Really, some of my best work. Now, if you keep this up, I can measure the chaos caused by your actions, and perhaps come up with an upgrade for you. Okay, then. I do like that, isn't it? Thanks for the help with that. At least now I don't feel like I'm flying blind here when it comes to Zin programming. Here's that upgrade for you. Though I know you love the outfit more. Of course I do, man. Of course, man. Mad, I've been thinking. We could all be dead soon, so... Shit, I can't believe I'm saying this. You don't have to die virgin. Can you call me Nightblade? Are you fucking serious? You still want to have a go? Uh, what the hell? Come on. Yeah. I'm not calling you when I play Dory. And that's another romance down. Um, is that it for on the sh missions I need to do on the ship right now? Yeah, yeah, else. That, oh, that was weird. Boss, I'm picking up major readings coming from your area. I think that one of those giant aliens are coming. What's up? Just a tad bit. Well? Hang on a second while I find my... There it is. Watch out for that stomp! It's sending waves of energy out from him! Oh, Jesus! Bad alien! Oh god, I'm not gonna win this one. Nope, alright, just let it go. Back in we go. Me. Loading up another training program for you. Thank you, Kinsey. Here, use this to test out that stomp thing. So it just stand down hard. Yep, and the blast wave will hurt them and throw them back. Nice. I still prefer the blast just because it has more of a an effect to it, but... I take it there's data things down in the ground now. Yep, Stomp should make the clusters pop up. Hi. Here, try using it to take down a warden's shields. Sit. Good. Looks like it works. Sending you back now. Thank you, Kinsey.
driving is wearing my ass out. I have a matter that could use your expertise. Go on. I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. I don't really have time to play games with you. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. Mm -hmm. If you say so, Matt. No. <laughs> the outfit looks great while running. I love it. needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis to do so we must confront the foul captain's army of minions draw out his lieutenants until the terrible menace reveals himself then we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict <laughs> Where the one-armed bandits is sometimes literally one-armed bandits. <coughs> the loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. This situation better be killer match. Okay, here comes trouble. Hang on, mate. You said we fight an army of minions, but who keeps an army of zombies? You. Uh, have to be prepared for anything. I really don't think zombies are the key to fighting Zin yet. Whose army did you say this was? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... This had better not be Nightblade fanfiction. Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cat-breaking Mary Sue's and... You do read that stuff. Well, of course I've read it. Why do I get the feeling you've been working this up forever? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three, when it seemed Nightblade may be retired. So he set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, mate, you poor, poor sod. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. I'm not condemning you. You're not? Well, of course I am. I really don't want to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. Oh, humanity. Had that from the start. Good work, you two. Especially you, Matt. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. Right, so where is he? Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! God, I hate you. Hello, Matt. It's good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. You got it in one. The Cardinal is on the move. But I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close. But not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Come on, Matt. Onward toward battle. Can we go faster, I believe. So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. 
right. At least a little bit. Well, I guess I can't complain about killing zombies. Well, I knew you were having a good time. Did you seriously make this simulation for Asha? Originally? Yes. And she rejected it. Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. Sorry, mate. So the villain had a trap waiting for us? Nicely played, mate. Good reversal of expectation. Uh, thank you. Right. This is, uh, Cyprian Order. I'm not the world's biggest knife like that. The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers, waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace, and was turned into one such creature. A vampire. You now the Order is trying to kill their former member? That's right. So Nightblade fights vampires, and he fights the Cyprian Order? Correct! This sounds like bloody nonsense. The fun nonsense. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Uh-huh. I didn't free you so you could play games, mate. It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. Asha's having you build simulations, is she? How many? I don't know, a dozen? Seriously? She likes to keep her skills honed. Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. Lone bloke, forever on the prowl, looking to kill those who forever can Nightblade's right there, buddy. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Sheer poetry. One of the finest ever written. Oh, Jesus. Cars were invented. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Enter Zinyak. But I think could work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, watch out. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Matt, watch out! Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! Oh, this is already so bad. This is terrible! Keep your head in the gang, mate. We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart. <sighs> Metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Too right we are. For this. Because he hasn't really given us much cause to hate him up until now. You're not taking this seriously. I'm seriously questioning your sanity, Matt. I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. I can't take this anymore. And honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe. I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. We're not done. We're not? We don't leave until you get your powers. 
Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? There's a war on, Matt. The creatures of the night must be defeated. Don't let Franklin Knight die in vain. So... You do understand. Look, if it makes any difference... Yes? As the Earth's sole living world leader, I'm claiming the power to assign you all rights, titles, licenses, and possible merchandise claims to the Nightblade property. You what? Contingent on one condition. Of course. Never stop. Never stop, Matt. Don't do it. As much as I hate Nightblade, I, I love the touching moment between the two of them there. Music. Where's it coming from, though? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test our metal in the uh, Superpower Fight Club. Alright. I appreciate your music, but I don't appreciate the idea of copyright. Oh, I thought I had the water running ability already. Boop. Welcome to Super Power Fight Club! Wave one! Fight! Let's do this. I have no weapons, it's just superpowers? Okay. That's fine. These are the dudes from uh, Saints Row 1. Bloody hell, that was fun. Where am I? There we are. Complete! Wave two! Burning Man! And up! Whoa! Hot stuff! I hope the challenger knows better than to play with fire. All right, I'll play. Fire. Wave two now. complete. <laughs> Welcome to the arena, Nightblade. Where you at, Nightblade? Let's go. That's not Nightblade. That's Nightblade. Throw down time, bitch. 
Ah, much better. Lovely. That does it for this round of Super Power Fight Club. Baker. Alright. What else we got? I think I got time for one more. Uh Yeah, we'll go and do the next one of these. Get our next companion back before we stop. Okay, we have the location of the cargo plane prison, but Kinsey, I don't want to hear it. Look, I'm just saying don't get your hopes up. Just trust me. It's him in there. I'm kinda with Kinsey on this one. Finyak went back to the well and hid this inside a broken shalele again. According to Matt's data, all of the submatrices are inside broken shaleles. That makes no sense. Finyak's big on reuse. I'm coming, Johnny. It was on this plane where Shawnee and I lost our best friend. Johnny Gat helped found the Saints originally, and Shawnee looked up to him ever since she joined. He sacrificed himself to save us. Now I want our friend back. What is this? Where's my powers? Your powers only work in your simulation. You're on your own. Fair enough. But I'm coming back with my friend. Boom. I'd like to shoot your damn tailor. Let's do this. Nice little flashback to Saints Row 3 here. Ah, fuck it. Get out of my way. I don't have time for you assholes. Something, the, something and fall of Johnny Gat. King, see the doors jammed. I, I don't understand. Oh, is something the matter? Bastard! Poor Johnny is on the other side of that door. You can't even muster the courage to open it. He's going to die. Alone. And none of his friends will even get to see the body to bury him. Johnny. I let you down. I let us all down. We never should have ran. We should have stayed and fought. But we couldn't because... We couldn't because of me. And I know people say it's not my fault, but if the boss didn't have to protect me, you would be standing here right now. I'm so sorry, John. 
It wasn't your fault. We left him to die. He didn't save our lives so we could feel sorry for ourselves. Yes, I hate to interrupt this touching moment, but we haven't even got to the best part of this plane ride. Oh, fuck me. I'm coming, Shorty! Fuck. Kitsy, where's Shorty? I, I don't know. It's like she's... everywhere. If that alien prick did something to her... Oh, <laughs> this should be... entertaining. Kinsey, I might be in trouble here. I don't... Boss? Boss, are you there? Kinsey? Oh, great. Oh, we got this. Us. Surely, please. Not one of our crew thinks these things. Of course they do. Everyone always carries yeah, me through. Okay. Shondi, that's rubbish. Shondi? What the hell is going on here? Hey, get off me! Boss, are you there? Yes, and I think Shorty's close by. Hold on, why are you in a nightclub? What happened to the plane? I'll explain soon enough. Just help me find Shorty. Oh, oh, uh, uh, cut it out! You're not going anywhere. Use the stun gun. Hands to yourself, veteran child. Yeah, like, that's gonna happen. Will somebody tell me what's going on here? You th you can take her from me? Use this. Thanks for the help. Been a while, Shondi. That is not Shondi. This is her, Kinsey. Or it was. No, something screwed up. Shondi doesn't act like this. She has like one emotion. Pissed. This girl needs a bowl fast. Let's go upstairs and sort this out. Not yet, my friends. I think veteran child deserves a second chance with our fair Jezebel. Maybe several chances. He does not. We've been for you. That's a lot of veteran children. Veteran childs? Proper plurals take singular construction. You're giving me an English lesson. God, this is no good. I'll shoot one, two, take his place. Because they aren't being... How are you gonna stop me now? There. The new gun is in. You're not leaving me, Sean. Hello? There goes nothing. Uh, just die. I thought you forgot about me. Good riddance wow, to boss. bad hair. Wow. You're remarkably calm right now. Hey, sometimes your exes try to kill you. What can you do, you know? You want a party? No, this isn't me. Shondi, are you okay? Oh, this is getting weird. <laughs> Get out. What's her problem? My problem? My problem is that I used to be you. This isn't a born again thing, is it? No, she's future you. Makes sense. So what happens to me? What do you mean? Look, Shondi, let's get no, out no, of- No, 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 no. I want to hear what I have to say to myself. What do oh, you boy. mean, what happens to me? Well, evidently, I become a total frigid bitch. So I just wanted to know what's up. Oh, you mean I stopped sitting around smoking drugs from a broken light bulb all day? Guys, maybe we should- Yeah, you're lame now. You used to have fun. I used to be useless. What? The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry. And fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. I hate me. Let's get out of here. So the good news for this encounter is we get both Brailler Shandy as our homie as well as Fun Shandy. <laughs> 
Although I don't think she would appreciate being called that. And now for every uh, homie that we save, we get audio logs as well, which is always fun. Get to learn a little bit more about your your people. But with that, we get new quests. Holy crap! Um. I might be able to just go straight through these if I've done them all. Hang on. Look, I have to prove to other me that I'm more than a party girl. So I came up with a list of things that are causing problems in the simulation. Sounds good. Gotta be honest, helping out was cool, but it doesn't change the fact that being stuck in the simulation kind of sucks. Quality of life could be a lot better if you could clean this place up a bit. Fair enough. You know, I really miss hanging out. You want to do something? What do you, what do you have in mind? Then now I can dress as her. Kick ass, boss. It was really cool hanging out with you again. And I helped fight back against the Zen. That's what we call a win-win. And we can also talk to regular Shandi somewhere. There she hey, is. Boss. I could really use some help getting Zinyak back for sticking me in that personal fucking hell of a mind prison. I'll tell you what to do, you go piss in Zinyak's plans. Got it? Fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. How long do you think we'll have to live in here? I mean, it's not bad and all, but this can't be permanent. I appear to be missing some things from her. That is an understatement. You've changed so much. We both have. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, whatever happened with that guy who won your dating show? Puerto Rican Thunder God? He was sweet and all, but performance didn't live up to the name. Look, I gotta tell you something. It always drove me crazy that you had exes in every city and were willing to go on a dating show, but not once did you ever give me a shot. You never asked for one. I'm asking now. Then let's make up for lost time. <laughs> and away. Hey. Alright, so I appear to be missing a couple of things to finish Shandy's. Yeah, a couple there. But that's fine. We'll get I'll get those in the in the in-between. And then next time we can go get Asha, uh, Ben King, and Pierce, as well as doing another loyalty mission for Shandy. So I'll see you guys next time. See you then.